Hello, church family, and anyone else watching this message. Let me begin by saying Happy Christmas to you, although I know for many of you, like us, things are far from ideal. So here are a few thoughts about the times we find ourselves in. Christmas is above all a season of hope. And particularly with all that's going on around us, it's really important to consider where it is that our hope actually lies. Today, one obvious answer is to say that our hope lies in the brilliant scientists who are creating vaccines to beat the virus. And in a very real sense, the best Christmas present you can get is a vaccination from the disease. Ironically, my mum Sally nearly got one. She was offered a vaccination on Christmas Eve, but had to turn it down because we're currently forced to self-isolate due to being in contact with someone who has the virus. Such are the twists and turns of living in the pandemic. I think that what the scientists have done over the last 12 months is just amazing and something to be celebrated. But to put all our hope in them would be to miss the point. The brilliant gifts of the scientists are just one manifestation of the multitude of God-given gifts which our creator God gives every person and can be put to good use in the world, healing, comforting, bringing hope, overcoming evil, curing disease, glorifying God. Many people are fearful of the future, separated from loved ones and anxious at all that's going on in the world right now, which is why the world's hope cannot lie in science or a particular vaccine or the brilliant scientists who've done the research, but in the gift of God's Son, given that first Christmas, who has not just overcome a disease, but has, through his sacrifice on the cross, conquered sin and death on our behalf, bringing salvation and eternal life to anyone who will accept his gift. As the prophet Isaiah said, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given. And so what we need most of all, in addition to getting vaccinated, is to receive God's greatest gift to the world, to put our hope and trust in his son and to share the good news of his gift with the world. Have a very happy Christmas and New Year. God bless you all very much.